Today we're going to be fishing for alligator gar. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I've got these poles rigged up for these alligator gar. I'm using 50 to 65 pound Power Pro braid on these rods. I'm not using any weight at all. I've got a slip bobber on these and it's just free line on here. And this just more or less gives me a good idea of the direction that the gar is running with my bait. Sometimes it could be kind of hard to tell so these work out really nice and they don't really create any resistance or or added weight to the rig i've got this tied with just a improved clinch knot here to a walmart heavy duty eagle claw wire leader i believe these are rated for around 50 pounds i've never had any problems with them but as you guys can see from my gar videos i do have some drag on my reels you know i'm not just trying to jerk these giant fish in they are able to run if they want to on the end of this is just a clip i clip it through the back of this hook here and this is a big river eight odd hook and that's pretty much it it's a real simple rig you just want to use big pieces of cut bait or big shad uh, you can even catch them with a big piece of chicken so let's get started looks like we gotta run hopefully i make it over here before i get spooled all right Fish on. Fish on. First fish of the day. It's going to be a good one. Ooh, I think he came off. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was a crazy jump. <laughs> that was a crazy jump. Now he's still on. I hope I got that jump on camera. I mean, his whole body came out of the water. But I'm just letting this guy swim. This spot that I'm in today, I have a lot of open water in front of me. And uh, the only thing I can't do uh, is let him get tangled up in this dock. And I especially don't want him caught up in my lines. Um, so he has figured out that he's being pulled this way. So. He's making his way over here. He's not happy. I got one more line out here to bring in. Oh boy. Okay. So in this particular spot, because of the way this bulkhead is, I can't, I can't just land these fish as easy as, you know, pulling it up on a boat ramp. I have to lasso them and pull them up on this dock. So I can't have any of these lines in the water. 
you know if I pull all these lines out which that was really a pain in the butt what I just did that was uh, four lines I just had to reel in while keeping this fish on you know if I if I would have not done that and left them out he would have gotten tangled in the lines and been all up in the dock but now that I brought those lines in watch this guy's gonna come up and just play dead right here at the surface I bet you but he that was probably that had to have been one of the biggest jumps I've seen in a long time out of one of these gar that was there he goes again Yeah, he's not exactly done fighting yet. But see, this is where things get tricky. Once you get him up close to the dock, if he's got fight left, he can pull harder than uh, I prefer to set this drag to, you know? I, uh, I don't want to break off. There's a big old air bubble. He's gonna need to come up for air. Pretty good looking gar there. Definitely a chunky fish. Oh, and he's hooked just on the roof of the mouth. That is insane. He is just hooked. I don't see the hook going all the way through either, so he may actually come off if he uh, maneuvers himself the right way. But that's just a that is just a beautiful thing right there. So this guy comes in at four feet, five inches, which is pretty average for this spot. Definitely felt like he's 40 pounds plus lifting him over this, this dock. He's pretty heavy. We're going to get a release on him. Should be fairly easy to take the hook out of this guy. Oh, see that? He wasn't even hooked, guys. This was just lodged in between his teeth. Very, very good hook. All right, let's get him back in there. There he goes. Oh, that was a great start to the day. Got slime on the gloves and we still got some bait left. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. We caught a four and a half foot gar. We had a decent morning here at the lake. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Perfect.